Hey everybody, Ben, Somerville Gardener. And today I'm continuing my frost protection bits with a Eagle Peak eight foot by six foot folding greenhouse. It's supposed to be a little pop-up kind of tent because winter's coming and I am not impressed with that. If you haven't already seen the previous video where I compared the small bag, small dome, big bag and big dome, make sure you look for that video on the channel page or maybe it'll be linked up here, wherever. I'm setting up this Eagle Peak eight foot by six foot foldable greenhouse. Looks something like that. And it's supposed to be a little pop-up kind of tent, tent greenhouse thing. And it's gonna help me keep this guava and a few of these papayas behind me nice and comfy warm during the winter months. My plan is to set it up right here where the papaya, guava, and papaya are right there. And then hopefully still have a bit of room down here below so that I can store just a few more pots and other things out here. If you're anything like me, I still don't know if I want to invest a few hundred dollars or even thousands of dollars into a real greenhouse. So this is my way of testing the waters to see if it's something that I want more of next year in the future. Are well, you really going to use it? Yeah, I don't need to spend that much money on something like that. If I'm not going to use it. I'm told I already waste enough money on other things. I'm going to go ahead and open up this box here, spread everything out so you can see it real well, and then I'll get to building. What's the worst way to open this thing? Now, I think I just got lucky. I uh, found the bottom feet of the bag. The bag. The box. I just found the bottom end of the box, or where the, the feet were, set it up, and just pulled the box off super easy and this thing i believe you just you know we have bubble wrap this thing i'm pretty sure you just uh stretch it out hmm i'm gonna need more room than this okay this should give us plenty of room to spread out here and you just uh stretch it out like a big old spider hmm there we go Ooh, it's getting bigger let's see if i can without hurting myself just lift up right here oh and it snaps in place that it's pretty cool and it's all done. There you go, there's the whole video, it's done. That is pretty cool right there. This side that I'm mildly impressed with just how easy it was to just pop that frame up. And it's uh, relatively robust and stable looking. Uh, there's a little turny thing here. Looks like it releases it and snaps and pops back up into place. Very cool. All right, let's get the top, put it over the top. One thing right here that I noticed real quick is just how easy the legs appear to, let me put my foot right here and lift up. And it snaps in place right there and there's this nice little handy catch that'll let it right back down so once i get the tarp cover over the top of it it's just a matter of going one by one on those legs and lifting it on up i did just find the lovely instructions in there as well let's take the let's take a quick look at these uh warranty don't care set up greenhouse open frame throw top over it uh velcro some stuff throw that thingy on there i'll probably throw that thingy on there then velcro some stuff oh then we're supposed to lock the frame okay and uh let's see here adjust it and do the little leggy thing kind of like what i just showed uh let's see here um more velcro stuff put it in the ground secure it okay uh keep going put plants in it uh take it down just do everything in reverse uh have a nice day i got this one of the things that I will greatly appreciate about some of these uh, lightweight Chinese options, is like this pop-up thing and all those bags, how lightweight everything is. So I don't really have to strain myself or hurt, hurt my back even more to get all this stuff put up and together. Oh yeah, high quality ties. Uh, let's see here. What are the chances I can just spread this thing out and just flop it over? Let's see if I just sling this thing over there. Oh, I wouldn't suggest that. Let's see here. If, if I did my Chinese measurements just right, uh, which I, of course, did not. Let's see here. Yep, I got it on backwards. It goes the other way. Here, zipper, zipper, zipper. Okay, hopefully you're ready for this. I'm just gonna kind of lift it that last little bit into place. Make sure that the, uh, I know you can't even see this. Make sure the little green pieces are in the contact points. As I'm working this around, pop this thing into place. Pop this thing just ever so carefully in place. Here's a little snap. And I think it's good. I think I got it. Oh, how am I gonna get up now? Okay, so now that that is all put in place there, I believe all I should have to do is just uh, adjust these feet. 
Let's see here. So pull on this thing for a click. Let's do that three more times. Pull and click. Pull and click. Hey, it reminds me of my four wheeling days with that one tire would just hang up in the air. And one last time, go ahead and get this last leg. Pull down and click. Hmm, I wonder if that's as tall as it gets. Oh, hey, there's another click that it'll do. And another click. Oh, that's it. You only get three clicks. Let me go ahead and put it on the third click all the way around. Hey, that's not too bad. That is a decently large. Hopefully that door shuts a little bit easier. But that is a decently large setup right there. I'm not even sure if it'll work or not, but that's an impressive size if nothing else. We got some little tie down points up here at the corners to help uh, everything stay held down. Nice little guidelines here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, hook up that Velcro that they were talking about. I remember seeing something in the instructions about that. I'll bring you inside, show off the massive interior of this whole thing. Wow. Okay, now let's take a look at this thing from the outside. This is quite a sizable little greenhouse shed thing. Comparing it to my guava here, there's going to be plenty of room and height for this. And I want to say there's going to be plenty of room and width and depth as well. Let's go ahead and take a look on the outside of the windows. This does have the zippered window enclosure. Probably a couple little pieces of Velcro down here. Some white mesh here for ventilation. These little toggles here are uh, some kind of a fabric, plasticky fabric, little toggle, and a little loop right here. So you roll it up and just wrap that around in there. Couple, couple of those, couple of those, and that's all you get. Seems functional. Again, over here on the other side, another couple zippers, a little bit of uh, Velcro. Seems to work okay. And on the inside, I already tested this, but just so you can see, this zips all the way up and down pretty simply. One thing I did notice is if you are over, uh, I'm gonna say about five, eight or so where I'm at, uh, five, nine, watch your head right here. Cause even though this thing opens up and again, it has these little uh, loop and toggle here in the back, or toggle in the front, loop in the back to roll up the door and leave it open. That bar right there does not move, no matter how hard you hit it with your head. Stepping on inside here, here is the Velcro. Oh, well, there's a, a Velcro up here. Oops, I didn't get that pulled down very well. Oh well. There's another piece of Velcro up here. I just did the middle and bottom here. There's a few holes down there in the feet for the stakes. And as you can see, there are the two open levels of height there. So if you need something a little bit shorter, or if maybe you're just a little shorter yourself and you don't need all this headroom, which hopefully you can see, it's pretty headroomy. I've got no trouble standing up and I can at least reach the top here. I'm not gonna say I could do much when I'm up there, but at least I can say that I can reach this thing. So if I needed to twist this thing and pull this thing down, ooh, hey, it's dropping. But that's about all it takes to get this whole thing taken down. Well, probably should, you know, undo the Velcro also. And zip the windows back up, make sure all this is figured out. As far as the construction goes, I don't see any issues with any of the seams where the metal parts touch the PE, I don't know what to call this, plastic something or other, plastic equivalent. There you go, PE, plastic equivalent. There's an actual name for this. Uh, it's not plastic equivalent, but I, I like that name. Uh, there's some polyester, Thin polyester pads here. If you were going to be doing this year after year, so you're setting this thing up in different places, you may want to reinforce that with something on your own. Otherwise, it's enough, probably. Something like this probably isn't going to last two years out in the elements. You could probably get three to five if you were setting it up and taking it down, setting it up and taking it down. Let's push this thing back up. Yep, that is not difficult at all. And this is very roomy. So let's see what it's gonna take to put this thing over my guava and papayas so that I can see just how well it's gonna cover them and how much more room I'm gonna have for more pots and plants and stuff. Because I need more stuff, right? You, you've seen this place, right? I, I, I need more stuff, this is empty. Like, I, I gotta fill this thing up, gotta fill it up. Okay, so I had to enlist just a little bit of help to get this part of it done, but this is really cool. So I've got the guava and two papayas tucked away in my little portable greenhouse. I am going to have to do something about some of these uh, support posts that I have and some branches are a little bit close so we're going to have to tuck those in just a little bit closer. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. You're never going to believe this. There's tons of room in here. Tons of stuff I can put in here. 
Okay, now as I head inside of here, first thing I did notice is there is a big old stake poking up right there. That's gonna have to get adjusted or moved. That's quite all right. But I see plenty of room back in behind over here and plenty of room over here on this side. Let's take a look in here. Lots of ground space, lots of ground space. Even with having a papaya in this corner and a papaya going in this corner and a Ruby Supreme guava, which is not a small, well, I mean, it is kind of a small, it's just, you know, a couple years old, but it's not exactly a small tree that is in the ground and has plenty of room to spread its branches out. I might have to adjust this in just a little bit so it's not too close and getting too cold over here on the edges or too burnt by, you know, the sun rays coming in. I don't know how hot this thing's gonna get. There is not much top venting. There's not at all, none. You got windows. Yeah. Hopefully the windows will be enough. Hmm. But otherwise, this whole thing looks like I could put some plants in here. Lots of room to spray water in here to water everything and plenty of room to get in and out. And I'm only using the single zipper at this point. If I were to use the other zipper, it might be a little bit easier, but I don't like to do things the easy way. Very often anyway. Some other things that came in the bag are gonna be some steaks, I hope. Yep, looks like there's some uh, guy, guy line, guy string, guy wire. Uh, this isn't 550 cord, this isn't paracord, this is some cheap Chinese version of it. And some steaks. Yep, bunch of steaks. Some wire i'll probably end up using my own 550 cord so i hope you guys enjoyed this right here and for comparison let me see if i can no i'm not going to do that i am not going to try and pick that thing back up and stick it back over there for a bit of comparison on size let me see if i can get everything into one shot so you can see just how big the pop-up greenhouse is over here versus the small bag small dome hang on small bag small dome big bag big dome i think i got all those right and of course then the size of this guy right here there's a, a major distance issue with that comparison i'm sure but definitely the largest option and at the price can't beat it hope you guys learned lots and you can make a more well-informed decision now so make sure you keep those thumbs green pests away and know that you are appreciated